Greetings and welcome back to Tangle Deep. I'm Catherine of Sky, and last time we are we learned to use some of our spells a lot better, and we have been uh, we, we just recently upgraded our skills, so we have two passives. Uh, we would like to go. We, oh, a pet shop. <gasps> that sounds good. What's in this pet shop? Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> Pando, have you ever wished for your very own monster pet? Well, wish no more. I've got a certified free-range monster eggs for sale. Hatch one and the monster will love you forever. Probably. Let's look at eggs. Of course, didn't you know? All monsters lay eggs. Fish, frogs, insects, even panthogs do it. I steal or er, acquire these eggs and provide them to you at incredible prices. You can hatch one anytime and the monster that pops out will love you forever. All right, what can we buy? Fungal toad, salamander, okay, cave stalkers. We have fungal, another fungal toad, sal aracuda, cave stalkers. I forgot what these are. <laughs> Aracudas sound pretty good. I wonder if there are more eggs inside the egg. Um, the thing is, I don't know how much... Like, do they, do they die? <laughs> Helplessly flops around. Captive panthox meow. <laughs> I would rather not be here. I mean, uh, chittering noises. That's funny. Oh, these are my vines, I think, that I'm using. Oh, hello. Got some birthday cake. Heart, hearty meat witch. Never mind, they're not. <laughs> so this is a moss jelly. Okay, so it tells us which one is which. That's like a salamander. Uh, it looks like a salamander. Grotto Flyer. That sounds like a good name. And this is the toad, I think. You're an Aracudas. This is Fungal Toad, Panthox, and a Goliath Beetle. Huh. Well, I don't know if this is the same as a summon. Let's buy a pet. Get a Cave Stalker. I don't know. Uh, is it a Cave Stalker? What is a Cave Stalker? It's not here. All right. Um... Right, salamander, fungal toad. Let's buy, I'm tempted to buy an aracuda, but I think I'll buy something cheaper, like a salamander, and see how it performs, basically. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I wanna see, you can hatch them anytime. Oh, so I could hatch it at the boss battle, for example, possibly. Uh-huh. I'm seeing the possibilities of this here. Right, so we know that there is a pet shop here, which is very nice indeed. Um, should we go to 4F? I think we should. Let's go. Okay, we've started out in an interesting spot. Let's use our this. Uh, let's explore the upper area here first. We've got Cedar Caverns 5th level next. Now that I have this, I really should get that um, ability to swing to a vine. Vine swing. It only costs 50. I think we'll get this um, so that I can escape. Uh, because this is this could be a really good thing because we are already automatically placing vine uh, it's down uh yeah it's a bad time it's a real bad time I'm gonna summon my floriconda requires 50 energy really huh do I have any food that probably is gonna be a problem an apple will give me some stuff uh Let's use an apple for now. Use. Okay, and we'll get our Floriconda somewhere. All right, that, all right, oh, jeez, that's not what I wanted to do. Whoopsies. Can you attack this guy? Thank you, sort of. Crest of the Drake, that's an item I've never seen. All monsters you fight are tougher, but more rewarding, oh boy. 10% physical resistance. It's hey, it's a gold-colored item, but eh, 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 I don't think so. I don't think we're gonna use this one. 
Um, we're gonna put this though in in the in the the, um, the cache. Knife of frog slaying. That's interesting. Yeah, knives are interesting. They do consecutive uh, more damage with consecutive hits, kind of like a chain gun in some other uh, games like FTL and whatnot. All right, so let's go here. Uh huh. Can I go around there? I don't think so. Well, maybe I can, actually. Whoa, hi. Give you one of these. You can have one of these in stone as well. We will give you a taste of our spear as well. Ha ha! And a taste of our slingshot. Ha ha! <laughs> nice. Stone. Slingshot. Slingshot. Um, man, oh man. These guys are really bad. I should have... Did I get that monster mallet with me? I'd love to get these guys with a monster mallet. Oh, yes. I could whack it with a monster mallet. Um, first of all, let me use a flask. And then nextly... Love to move a little bit closer. It's at 78 HP. Oh, if I use a monster mallet, then this thing is just going to kill it, I think. So that's kind of a pointless business, I think. All right, let's summon our uh, our next our flora floraconda here. Go. Nice. Okay. Now I was gonna go this way. Check out what was here, which is nothing. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Well, that's interesting. This way. Get a knife. Aha! We can get in here. Very nice. Okay, there we are. Let's go. Come on, Floraconda! We can make it. Let's go out of here. Secret area. <gasps> nice! There is a bunch of empty barrels in here. <laughs> You look at it and it looks like this great treasure trove and then there's like nothing. Uh -huh. Okay, nothing there either. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, fungal toad, go away. go. I do not want to go through all this lava to see what's down there. Honestly, I don't. Um, we could go down here, however. I'll go this way. Oh, there's a treasure here, which I forgot. Right. this with a stone first, and then we'll go and add it with our javelin until we can hit it with the axe. Because that axe is real good. Um, this one has a range of three, and that one has a range of three as well. Let's use this. Slingshot. Go. Nice.
Okay, we have a king crab over here. I would like to use this. Um, this is energy. This is stamina. Oh, this is for energy? You know, I got confused by seeing the, the CD in, in, per, in green there. Okay. I got confused. Only throw stone is stamina. All right. Oopsies. Okay, I guess I'll have to move closer. Oh, dear. Let's use our Floriconda here. And I think we can use a slingshot from here. Nice. We can probably use the javelin from here, or the spear. Not a javelin, it is a spear instead. Come on, don't miss. Don't miss, girl. No. Got a lot of gold from that battle. some food there. Taking a lot of damage here. <sighs> Convenience. Alright, let's use our healing flask to go over here. I would like to find the exit. Is it exit up here? There it is. Okay, so that's the fifth level. I think that'll do. I don't see any more stairways anywhere on the map. We didn't check down here, but I'm not gonna check down here. Let's get the XP and run. Oh, we also got 222 uh, gold. So what have we got in terms of stuff? Um, okay, we can get Creeping Death or Spitting Plant. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, vine wall Photosynthesis. Proves your defense and offense when standing near a summon vine. Blows up the summon vines. Um, let's get to spitting plant. I'm liking the offensive kind of things. Let's go ahead and call for a teleport. I want to go back to town and uh, put some stuff in in storage. Oh, we have new stuff. Thank you. All right. First of all, I can sell. I think. I'm gonna put in a couple of things. How much? I have plenty of gold. I was worried that I wouldn't have enough gold to store things. Okay, store items. Uh, right, sort by type, please. Put these at the front. Axe of Sparks. Nice. Wild Hand Axe. Wild Things. This is 223. Yeah, put that in. Put in also the Wild Hand Axe, because why not? Short bow of vengeance. Hmm. It's four. That's actually quite a nice. How? how slingshot is one fifty. Um, knife frog sling. I think we'll put this in there as well, and a holy symbol. I can't even put in. The, wow. How much it costs? Eight hundred to put in the. Uh, oh my goodness. All right. Let's see if we want to add anything here. I think instead of the slingshot, we'll take the short bow of vengeance, because why not? Be a lot better. Phalanx studded vest. Um, that looks very tempting. I wonder if I should put that in. Store items. This one. Yeah, why not? Because, so this is what we have in, oh my gosh, I have Oh no, it's a splint mail is what I had before. Okay, so we have plenty of armor. We've got two axes, which I love the axes because they hit all the adjacent enemies. Really good to have a starter weapon for my next character. I'm I'm planning for death, you might say, at some time. Um, right, but now we can sell stuff. So sell all the common gear, yes. What else do I have? I think I'm going to sell all of these things. We really don't need them. Sell all equipped unequipped gear, yes. Now, what have we got left? We have only 708 gold. I would like to go into our farm and see if we have more stuff. Yes, harvest please. Do we have any... Um, we've got a bag of grain. We've got orchid seeds and acorns, so let's go and plant some stuff. Hey there, Mr. Fogman. Can you take any more plants? Well, we could harvest one of these. 
age 25. Hmm, I don't really want to harvest them though. I think we're okay on those. So these guys, we still need to catch more of those guys. Maybe even like three of those wizard dudes because they are so dang dangerous. Okay. Um, should we, yeah, we should look to cook. Oh, a new quest. Yes, tell me. You know, I forgot to completely. Uh, 5F. Okay. Right. Okay, I'll be back later. Oh, no. No, no. Tell me, tell me. Try crushed electric jelly. Slay two with physical damage. All right, that sounds good. King Blackheart, the Panthox. Cedar Caverns, level four. I'll take it. Okay, vines are quiet. Right. Can we repeat the last recipe? No, because we doesn't remember. Uh, what if we do this and more apples? Ready, cook. And this. There we go. I'm ready to cook. Uh, go. Repeat. Go. Oh, can't repeat. Okay. Can we do this? Fantastic. Repeat. Nope. Okay. We can do this, though. Aha! Yes! Nice. Okay. Very nice. I think we will heal, please. Yes. 50 gold. Ooh, okay. We should go back to level four. And what are we doing on level four again? Let's look at our quests. Because, And please forgive me if I don't remember these things. I always forget them. So so we've got the Panthox is on level four F and we need two electric jelly. Okay. Let's go. Is this the King Panthox? I think it is. Howdy. Okay. We can hit you. Let me use my bed of thorns here. Oh, did he summon these? Wow, alright. That's interesting. Shoot. Can I please... I can't attack. Okay, hooray, we got that one. That was nice. There we go. Um, let me summon one of my Floricondas here. Get back to our javelin world. Looks like we're not in danger at the moment. This is kind of dangerous. Jeez. Oh, I didn't realize it was a boss. Wonderful. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Defeated by King Glarp Drip. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Dang. All right. Well, I died. What a, a, a critter to be defeated by, Howard. King Glarp Drip. Right. So we are kind of at the end of this episode anyway, so I'm not going to make any decisions right now. Please let me know. Um, how about this? Let me know two things. Do you want to see the series continue? Are you interested? Um, or um, And if so, if you are interested, should I start a game that is not permadeath? because I'm thinking we're keeping on losing a lot of stuff and we're not making a ton of progress. So it might even be better if we can go with the non-heroic mode. Yes, I am getting to that point. <laughs> so let me know what you think about those things. I look forward to hearing your comments. Thank you so very much for joining me for this episode and take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.